Welcome to Always Analog, where we celebrate the beauty of analog technology in the digital world. And today, we've got a pencil review. Uh, something sort of interesting. I um, don't know if I want to call this a vintage pencil, uh, because I'm not quite sure if it falls under the vintage domain quite yet. Plus, it is something, I mean, I just bought literally a week ago. So, in a store. Uh, so, um, it's something that is currently available, although I haven't seen these in a long time. But I was in my local neighborhood grocery store, the supermarket here in town. They have a very small little section with kind of household stuff, uh, light bulbs, um, little electrical things like, you know, uh, adapters and stuff like that. And then they have a little school slash office supply um, area where they have really just basics, pads of paper, uh, scissors and glue sticks and crayons and pens and pencils and um, tape and you know paper clips and thumbtacks and like that so uh, but very small but there was the pencils and these were the only pencils they had and I looked at them and I never had really noticed them and I looked again and I thought okay paper made pencils nothing weird about that um, but then I looked down and at the bottom it said Made in USA. And I said, let me pull in here. I said, wow. I said, when is paper made making pencils in the US again? And it's like, no, of course they're not. These are old stock of pencils when they still were making um, pencils in the USA back when Sanford was the parent company of Papermate. And and here's, you know, you can see Papermate has changed their logo a little bit. I think it's actually in a script font now rather than this. So you know that that's sort of one logo ago. But here are the pencils. And um, so it's the Papermate. You can see they were $2.19 for the package at the supermarket. Paper Mate American Classic, and uh, it's got a little window here. You can see the the pencil within. Um, smudge resistant eraser. Although I don't know how old these erasers are now, they probably are hard. Uh, sharpens easily. Ten count. Made in USA. HB number two wood pencils. And if we look on the other side. It's like, aha, copyright 2002. Well, folks, it's uh, we're a week away from 2021. So this is like already 18, 19 years when this was copyrighted. I don't know if the pencils are that old, but um, they might not be. But, but it gives you a, an idea. Um, Sanford. Um, division of Newell Rubbermaid made in the USA has a guarantee here Sanford guarantee guarantees complete customer satisfaction and replacement if your new paper made product fails to perform properly simply return it gives you an address um, paper made American classic we'll turn over here number 10 yellow or 10 number uh, yellow pencils HB number two smudge resistant eraser for clean removal of pencil marks made from real wood for easy sharpening ideal for schoolwork and general writing okay um, it says try other great paper make products including ballpoint pens, mechanical pencils, erasers, correction products. For more information go to 
papermate.com. There's the Pencil Makers Association seal made in the USA, does not contain rainforest wood, and then the UPC code. So here we are. Um, and I thought, okay, so I'm going to cut open here and let's take one out. Take a look at it. There it is. Paper Mate Classic. HB number two. Um, hexagonal pencil. And we've got, there's the eraser. It's got a crimped on kind of um, chrome um, uh, ferrule. It's not chrome, but shiny. Uh, call it a chrome finish ferrule. It's very plain. And uh, yeah, that's just it. There's, looks like a few thin spots here. I wouldn't say these are a super great paint job on these. Let me get out a couple more and uh, see how the mm-hmm yeah there uh, two of these are centered pretty well one looks a little bit off but um, let's uh, they're, they're all identical and I would say on all of them too, there's a few spots, um, especially here down near the bottom, where the paint just doesn't look like it was uh, really painted completely or maybe didn't have as many coats or didn't get sprayed or I'm not sure of the process, but not a great paint job. The um, imprint on all of them though is pretty clear and it's in it's in a blue foil uh, the imprint on the the paper made here okay we'll come back and sharpen and start writing so here's our paper mate classic uh, made in the USA and honestly that I'm gonna sharpen it here but the 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 made in the USA was what sort of appealed to me because the big companies Dixon and Paper Mate, they're not making pencils in the U.S. any longer. And most of the pencils are made either in Mexico or China that they sell. Um, so I thought, okay, I would like to try this, what perhaps is one of the last of the Paper Mate um, old Sanford um, branded pencils that were still made here in the US. So let's see here what we've got. This is the Paper Mate American Classic. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, certainly looks and feels very much like a number two pencil and it um, is a fairly um, smooth writing pencil. Uh, 
Uh, it's not a cedar pencil, so it's some other kind of base wood that they're using here, but it did sharpen very easily. Um, point retention so far is okay. It's a rounded hex pencil. in terms of the barrel. Again, number two. Uh, it's in the classic yellow color. Mm-hmm. Yep. And, you know, it's uh, trying to think what to compare it to. Um, it's probably not as smooth as a Ticonderoga, although a Ticonderoga American made, I don't know, that might be something else again. The, the allure of this pencil was that it was an American made model. All right. Um, now I think it will be good to try now the eraser. Again, this isn't, we know this pencil is, is old. How old we don't know, but it's gotta be probably 15 years old, um, which means the eraser is as old. Let's see how it does. Papermate makes the pink pearl although it seems that they don't put pink pearl erasers on their pencils. I think they should. Well, you can see, you know, not it's not uh, smudgy like I thought it might be, and it's honestly not as um, oxidized or dried out as many, maybe because it was in the bag sealed, so maybe it had, you know, some protection from air exposure, so it's not as bad as as that, um, but uh, it's not, not a great eraser. Um, but let's try the, the graphite here on a plastic eraser. Better. Still some shadowing though. Um, Let's try a paper made pink pearl on this. Well, I think that pink pearl fares better than the attached eraser. Gummy eraser. Okay. You know, and all these other eraser options here, there's is not in no eraser so far is really lifted at all off the paper. You can you can see there is some some shadowing. can I try? Mm. So, in terms of erasing, it gets a B. Uh, most of it will come off, but there's still you know, a lot. I actually am going to give it even a B minus. I would like to have it have erased better. So, I don't know. Perhaps, um, perhaps there's, uh, it's the, the core, um, whatever the formulation is that they're using. Um, I'm going to give it another quick sharpen. Restore the point a little bit. And we can...
do some more writing. Yeah, it is a smooth writing pencil and fairly comfortable to hold. Again, it's got uh, a rounded, the, the hexagonal barrel has rounded corners. Uh, so uh, I find it very comfortable to use. Um, you know what, overall this was, this is exactly I think what it was intended for. This is a good general school office pencil. Um, it's not going to knock anybody's socks off, but it has a nice line and it is a comfortable pencil to hold. It sharpens nicely. It erases just okay, uh, but you know, overall, uh, it, um, you know, is a very serviceable pencil and I, perhaps these were sold even less expensively than they were in our local grocery store. Um, I'm quite certain they were not expensive pencils uh, and they were not marketed as such, but, um, you know, a, uh, a nice pencil to try and one to include in the collection of American made pencils. Um, perhaps, like I said, one of the, the last. So thank you for spending some time with me here at Always Analog for this pencil review of the Papermate American Classic number two pencil. We'll see you again soon.